Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here. I want to thank Elite Trend, uh, Elite Trend Apparel for hooking me up with this awesome UFC Street Fighter S shirt. Brock versus Overeem. Okay, we saw what Overeem did, hitting the body. Brock couldn't take it. Maybe it was a diverticulitis, maybe it wasn't. Okay, because of his K1 experience, he's done a lot of walking forward with that step up left knee. That's good, and he's been using it so much in K1, but he's got to watch it uh, against the champion, because the champion, you know, knocks out Kane with that overhand right. So, that is a habit of his. So when Overeem steps forward with the step up left knee, once you see him take that step with the right foot, when he switches to southpaw, guys, he's always looking for that left knee. You throw the big overhand right. So, both of you guys, if you see that, you should watch out for it, anyone in your camps. Okay, today we're going to do some catch wrestling again. Facebook Elite Trend uh, Apparel. Pretty cool shirt, as you see here. Alright, come on in here. Do some catch wrestling stuff. Alright, go to your back. And lay down your back. Okay, we're going to talk, number one, Catch wrestling, you're always heavy on top. You're riding heavy, okay? I'm with little guys today, so I might not be riding super heavy and giving a little break, but in reality, in competition, in live grappling, I would be. If he grabs, grab your shorts. In MMA now, this is allowed in a lot of grappling tournaments. He can grab his shorts or his body fat or just keep the hand tight to that hip bone. It's hard to get around. Try and grab more on the side. Can you grab? Yeah. So he's blocking the Kimura. So I'm in here on a Kimura. And I'm having trouble ripping a regular Kimura. What you can do is replace your right hand with your left hand, trap in here, and go to a catch wrestling key lock. Go in here, grab your own behind your elbow, grab behind your elbow with both hands, okay, like a snake choke almost. Okay, and then you're gonna sit out on the far side of his head. Here you're ready to tap, and then rotate here. Alright? Okay, so you, this is really important, guys. Everyone blocks the Kimura that way. By like putting the hand in front of the hip bone, it's hard to just to put the hip, it's hard to get past that hip bone sometimes. Or he's grabbing here, even if I step over the head. So if you're in here and you're having trouble ripping it out, take this hand, replace your right hand with your left, grab in here. You can actually keep that if you want, or take both out and grab behind your arm. Okay, pinch everything tight, and now I'm going to sit out around his head. Sit my weight back on his face, and then rotate his shoulder. Remember, you're taking the hand to the back of the head on a Kimura. Regular Kimura, I have a video on. It's here, clear the hip up, and then take it short banana to the back of the head. Okay, he's pretty flexible. You don't take it out, just look how flexible he is. If you don't take it up, Look how flexible you is. You combine the motions, banana the back of the head. That's the same motion you're going to do on a key lock. Come here, get up, back. Here, grab, sit out, and then rotate. One more time. You get a different angle. Go down here a little bit. Okay, grab. So I'm here. Replace, grab, keep everything tight. Sit up, sit on his face, and rotate. Okay, and you're taking that hand still like a Kimura motion. The best motion I find for every, that works on everybody is a small banana curve to the back of the head. Try and shove that hand to the back of his head. All right, switch out. Come on in here. Let's have you guys rotate a little bit. Okay, now if you want to do your key lock paint brushes, that was a key lock catch wrestling style. Your Americana, your paint brush, your top wrist lock, or your double wrist lock. Okay, catch wrestling is the Kimura, the double wrist lock. Instead of just here, if you subluxate the joint outwards, you can be better prepared to hook or break the joints. Maybe not just attack the shoulder, but maybe break the forearms as well, the forearm bones. Okay, so subluxate it out, or supinate it. I think that's subluxation, supination. I don't have a degree in chiropractic, it's one or the other. Okay, rotate it out like you're turning a uh, motorcycle throttle. Okay, so you're pinning this, it's good to get C grip. Your power finger is the middle finger, either right there on that joint. I like that because when guys are sweaty, it sticks in there. Or you can grab down farther on the hand. I don't know in MMA if you grab down here in the hand now, are they going to call that grabbing gloves? Probably depends on the ref. Okay, but put it in here or a little bit higher above that little notch. 
is okay. But I like a lot of times I'll just find that notch with the power finger, the middle finger here. Rotate it outwards like you're pulling the throttle on a motorcycle. And then, you know, I, I, I teach flipping on the side mostly, but for this one, you rotate out, you can step over the head a little bit. And you've got a lot of pressure here. So if you're not going to do the power move, step and twist it this way for this style that I already have a video on. If you're going to try and finish them still more inside and out, rotate it out, head dressing style. And either sit them out this way, but don't sit too far back or it'll come on top. Or step over the head, rotate that out, and take it. Okay, same thing on a uh, top wrist line. So just a little more. My paintbrush, Americana, okay, would be this. And I have this in some mount videos already. Painting the hand on the back of the neck. See, it's pretty flexible. But if when you first grab it, stable it to the mat, rotate it out. Now you're attacking the joints. Here. See, the hand's not even on the mat. But when you know how to stretch it like a rubber band, how to keep things taut, you don't necessarily need it. Okay, if you want to be more supposedly technical, I could do this. That's just an easy helper reminder to teach beginners. But you can rotate it out and it adds more pressure. Doesn't it? More pressure on the floor? Okay, so here and then stack it and pull it. Same thing here. A lot of times I'll ride heavy. Catch wrestling's about riding heavy. I'll put the trap up here, whether I'm bashing him in the face or not. And then I'm going to wait for him to try and get his arm out. I'm trying to get your arm out. There's both trap there. I might trap from like a Tom Sao and Wing Chun here. Come to this, sit out, and you're going to pull his head and do a separation. Okay. One more time. One more time. Here, maybe I'm sitting on the trap. Okay, and as he does this, where I'm riding his throat, I'm grinding him, I'm being heavy. Oh, there's right there. Grab here, I can sit out and do a separation. You'll see the same style thing I did in my tricky north south chicken wing. Okay, look at look at that video. Um, okay, brush weird separation from the north south position or from side mount that you can do. All right, uh, switch up for him to some neck pain. Thank you. All right, next. Give these guys a little break. In side mount, we're going to be riding heavy, grinding the guy, pushing on his face, grinding his elbows face down. If you're talking mean self-defense, you're talking catch wrestling, that's not even gouging and thumbs and pressure points, okay? I'm just talking being heavy on the guy. From, more, from side mount, guys, you're all taught head and arm anyway, jiu-jitsu style. Okay, you're either tight with your knees or maybe you're being heavy with one leg back. Put your heavy chest to chest. Sink your weight over him like a sack of rice. It's very important. But it's very easy to go from there to stuff and get here. From there, you turn him on his side, you draw your hand from the armpit down to the elbow, and you can stretch him out. Here's a stretch, and I can also push my forearm to neck crank him. Okay? So we're in here, maybe we'll sit out. I like to sit out T or T style, knees together, just have a big split. You go in here, trap the armpit. You can shove it up if you need to. Slide the hand down to the tricep. And you can pull that back for like a lat stretch. He's tapping. Or you can go forward with your forearm to neck crank. Okay, you can also bash him in the face, like Brock the Demur. Um, to Frank. Okay, from there you can also trap this with your foot. Here. And now you use your shin and your your arms together, rotate your knee in for the neck right here. Okay? And then if you want to work on this arm to stretch it, you can. If you want to take it here, stretch it there, you can. If you want to go over for straight arm bar, you can. Okay, so one more time. Guys, if you're in the north uh, side mount anyway, had an arm position anyway, be heavy on him. Grab this in the armpit for me. If you're friendly grappling, maybe not. But think about it being there as an option. You slide that down from the armpit to his elbow for better leverage and yank that back. That stretches his lat. You can pull forward on the head. And neck crank really heavy. If you really need to, he's flexible. You can step in. Use your shin and your knee this way. Grab behind his head like you would a wrestler guillotine or twister. Maybe escort behind the head. You can just use your forearm. That can twist him all kinds of ways here. Control him here. 
turn them down, write this guy, wherever, get up, fight other people, whatever you gotta do. So there's just some heavy catch wrestling, grinding this, move. Same thing standing up, you could grab that Kimura and catch wrestling with double wrist lock, you can rotate it out and attack the joint there. And then spin this guy around into a wall or whatever. Okay, or jump to a half there. You know, or a rolling guillotine, pop a hook in, flip them over. Or not guillotine, uh, more a double wrist lock. So, that's how to catch wrestlefy your grappling guys, okay? So, it's a little meaner. It can attack the, the joints in a worse way. It can break bones. It can really hook stuff, break stuff. So, be careful, but, you know, we're talking fighting here. Alright, I'm Dan Wolfman. Please subscribe to my YouTube page. Thanks.